Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Today we're going to be looking at the first of two solos from Six Pounder by Children of Bodom. Let's take a look. Alright guys, before we get too excited for this particular song, Children of Bodom are in drop C tuning, which goes C, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself in tune, and we'll get started. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. I'm going to start off with this unison bend idea. What I'm doing is I'm bending 15 of the second string and playing 12 of the first, and I'm going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and, so this is going to be sort of 5 picks of each. One and two and three and four and five and then I work into these two little arpeggios. So let's slow that down. I'm going to start off by hitting, I guess it's sort of like a major third and then into something sort of a bit more sort of sus, uh, sussy sounding. I'm pulling off from 16 to 12 on the first string. Then I play 15 of the second and 14 of the third. At the end of that, I'm going to reverse my way back up to the pointer. So I'm going to be playing 15 to 12 on the way back. I'm going to do pretty much exactly the same idea again, but this time my pull-off is going to start from 17 to 12. So I'm going from my ring finger on the first arpeggio to the pinky on the second. So now we're going to have this. So we're going to have... Hopefully that's making sense. Then we're going to repeat the first three notes of the second arpeggio. And then I just return to the 12 on the first string. So we're going to have two six note arpeggios and one four note arpeggio. Altogether, that's going to sound like this. Hopefully that's making sense. After that, I work into this phrase. So this is kind of working in groups of four, it's just at the start I've got that quick legato triplet. So what I'm doing here, doing a hammer on pull off going 12, 13, 12 on the first string. And then I jump to 15 of the second string. Then it goes. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 13 to 12 on the first string and 15, 13 on the second. All together we're gonna have this. The next thing I'm gonna do, Let's play 12 of the first string and 15, 13, 12 on the second. That's going to sound like this. Then from that point, I'm going to play 15, 13, 12 on the second string again and finish that on 14 of the third. So let's have a look at this phrase in its entirety. At the end of that, I go back to 12 of the second string. At the end of that, I work into this phrase. Okay, let's slow that down. I'm going to be playing 13 to 16 on the third and jump to 15 of the fourth. Quite uh, diminished sounding. Then I go back to 13 of the third string. At the end of that, what I'm doing here is I'm playing 15, sorry, 17, 15, 14, and then a quick dead note on the fifth string. At the end of that, vibratoing the crap out of 13th fret. You can almost add like a very, very subtle open note, but a dead note is just as good. And give that some angry vibrato. So that last chunk nice and slowly. Let's take it right back to the start of the section, play it again at a gentlemanly pace, and then again, even slower with some tabs. Time with some tabs. All right, guys, let's have a look at the second section. We're going to start off with these little uh, three string major arpeggios. All that fun stuff. So, what I'm doing here is I'm playing 17, 18, 17 from the third to the first string. And then I'm hammering to, to 20 from that 17 and pulling off back to the 17 again. So it's going to go. 
Now that idea is pretty simple. You'll notice that I'm not using sort of individual fingers and sweeping up and down that way. It's kind of more of an, an Yngwie approach where I've just got the flat fingers and then the lack of sustain is coming from a lot of dampening on my right hand. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing that sweep with the hammer on pull off and then I just bring it back a fret which is going 16, 17, 16 and then I'm hammering to 19. So all together. So I pretty much do exactly the same thing three times in a row. The only difference is at the end of the third group when I get back to that 16 arpeggio at this point, I've done the hammer on pull off and then I'm gonna descend through the arpeggio. So then I'm gonna play 17 of the second, 16 of the third, 18 of the fourth, 19 of the fifth. So it's basically the same shape and you can just add the ring and the pinky at the end after that. So goes. After that, I wanna bring that arpeggio over one fret and I'm gonna play from the fifth string, 20, 19, 17, 18, and then hammer 17 to 20, so it'll go. Hopefully that's making sense. Okay, let's try the whole thing from the start thus far and then we'll finish it off. At the end of that, I'm just sort of sliding back on the second string until I get to fifth fret and then hit a natural harmonic on the first string and then do a cheeky dive. It's a pretty simple idea. And then obviously with a bit more gain that will have some sustain to it as well, but that's just a sort of an angry, uh, aggressive way to finish off that solo. So let's go through all of those arpeggios one more time, add that cheeky little dive, and then we'll put it all together again, even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the first solo from Six Pounder by Children of Odom. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please click the links in the description box to my Facebook, my Patreon, and my many Udemy courses. Many Udemy courses, that's a fun mouthful. And uh, if you haven't already checked it out, please have a look at my book, Ultimate Shred Machine, if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Stay tuned for part two of this lesson. It is going to be an absolute doozy. Catch you very soon.